Hey guys, Mystic here. Today, in the continuation of the series, Stats and You, we're going to be looking at, you guessed it, Engineer, but more specifically, Engineer DPS. Now, I want to get some acknowledgements out of the way up front because these are definitely warranted. But first, a big and huge thank you to Technician Tweak of the Blacklisted Guild. This individual has a tremendous knowledge of the Engineer DPS and tank classes and a lot of uh, what you're going to see here in this video is basically just lifted from their site with their permission so let's get into it let's do a high level overview before we cut to the presentation and then within the video uh, description below you'll actually have a link to this presentation as well as the link to uh, technician tweaks uh, site for a more in-depth read on the engineer DPS build. So let's get right to it, guys. So let me bring my interface back up here. So, what we want to do basically is we want to look at our stats again. So, remember how we find our current stats and the values that they have. Uh, we basically open up our player profile. So, here to get the player profile opened, we hit the P key, P for Peter, right? Brings open the P uh, player profile page here. You see here, we already have it selected for display stats, but if yours is on something else like set bonuses or costumes, just click the drop down box here and set it for stats. It defaults to stats, but on the off chance yours isn't, that's how you actually correct it. Now, we're gonna be looking at several things here, right? For the first one, we're gonna be looking at strike through, we're gonna be looking at vigor, we're gonna be looking at multi hit chance, critical severity, so these are going to be some of the uh, stats that we're going to look at. You see here, it displays the current stats that I have for this character. Now, let me also caveat this by saying that this character is not exactly the best geared, nor is anything really accurately um, set up for this particular build for DPS. So don't pay attention to the stat numbers that I have here, but just use it as a reference point for yourself when you're actually looking at the presentation. So. Let's take a look at the presentation. Let's go through this real quickly. So you have a, uh, a, a you have this for your uh, reference. And again, Technician Tweaks site offers a tremendous amount of in-depth information, more so than this presentation has. You consider the presentation more like a um, like a Cliff Notes version of that site. So let's get to it, shall we? All right, so here we are. We're doing the engineer DPS stats priorities for 2018. So what are we going to talk about first? Stat priority order. So the first thing you want to focus on when you hit 50 is working on your strike through, right? So this is a stat again, which is um, going to be a horizontal stat for all DPS classes. Now, in the next slide, I have basically um, provided the percentages of strike through that you want in a, you want to have before you start doing certain types of content. So that's also noted right here as well. Now, next thing you want to focus on, and this is in the, this is in the priority order. Okay, so strike through is first, multi hit chance is second. Your goal is to get that somewhere between sixty and seventy percent. You see, in mine, I'm not even uh, close. I was like at eighteen percent, so not even close. So long way to go on that, but. It's a building process, right? So genetic archive gear will have certain stats on it, which will focus on the DPS stuff. We're gonna talk about runes, basic runes, class runes, set runes, etc. So we'll get into that in a few minutes, but listen, multi-hit is pretty big, pretty much what you wanna focus on. And that would be multi-hit chance, right? Next is Vigor. Now, Vigor is a tricky little stat and you'll find out a little bit more about that uh, later on. But for the most part for Vigor, you don't want to be greater than 25%. So that's why I have less than or equal to 25%, but no more than 25%. Next hit or next stat after that is the multi-hit severity. Now, I know here and after speaking with uh, Tweak that there is no real target value that you want. But in terms of priority, if you can get gear, if you can get runes in that particular, with this particular stat, that's fantastic. But again, there's no base number to hit for like there is with multi-hit chance. Same thing with critical hit severity and with critical hit chance. So those are the, the, the priority 
of the stats that you want to focus on for your engineer DPS build. Now, let's look at the next slide, right? Which will basically speak to the strike through percentages. Again, this is a horizontal stat across all DPS uh, characters. And you, this is broken down by content type. So if you want to do dungeons, you should have at least somewhere greater than or equal to 10%, right? Maybe 9% might work, um, but you know, it might be, you know, you might be missing a little bit more than you're actually hitting. So if that's happening to you and you're at that 9% strike through, then you might want to think about trying to etch out maybe one more or two more percent in, into strike through. For the first rate tier, genetic archives, it's 11%. It can be like, you know, 11, 12%, right around that number. Data, data escapes at the raid tier two level. We're looking at about 16, 17% there for minimum. Next is the third tier rating, which is going to be the Red Moon Terror. So we're looking at like 18 to 19% minimum there. So this is a strike through percentages. Again, it is across the board for all DPS characters. These are the numbers you're going to want to hit for the content that you're doing. All right, next slide real quick is food and boosts. So for there's two foods that you can actually focus on if your multi-hit and vigor are a little low. Um, the fried spider legs actually increases your multi-hit rating by 403 <clears throat> for about 30 minutes. And that equates to something like maybe like 1% or 2% additional multi-hit. Same thing with the um, with Oculus snacks, except this one focuses actually on vigor. And lastly, there's a, a boost that you can actually use as well, which will increase your multi-hit rating by 332 for 15 minutes. So some things to look for if you're needing to supplement a little bit more uh, based upon the gear and the runes that you're using, if you still need a little bit more, this these avenues here on food or on boosts, this is where you're gonna wanna look to kind of hopefully bump those numbers up a little bit more. Now, um, the next slide is about the, the, the PvE regular runes. So, when you're kind of gearing yourself up as you just hit 50, um, Striker and Onslaught are primarily going to be the rune sets that you're looking to leverage in your initial gear, right? In like your like level 100 gear, that's kind of like, you know, up to that point, so you want to look for it. We start getting like genetic archives, Data escape gear, red moon terror gear, um, gear, you know, those the priorities of the stats and the in the runes are going to change. So this is kind of like a starting point for you, right? Just at 50, maybe you've done some work on your character and you got some gear, right? Striker, onslaught runes, totally going to be what you want to kind of be focusing on. Now, um, there's also I put in here, um, I've also put in here basher and pandemic. So these are two additional pieces of information or two additional runes that you can leverage. And there's a little bit of write up about what they actually give you, right? So you're gonna to wanna to put the basher rune into your weapon when you're at at least 130 on the weapon or on your gear in general. So striker and onslaught are really gonna carry you for a, a long way into your rating stuff. Next is the class rune sets. So here I wrote down, you know, lifting again from technician tweak site, right? Eradication, a set, the technician set, and the broadside set. And a little bit of description about what they actually do when you have certain levels of power into that rune, right? What it kind of gives you. <clears throat> Next up is the PVE runes, um, which is um, based on the, the type, right? So these are the fusion runes. And actually, we're going to change these in real time. These are actually PVE fusion runes. There we go. Made that change in real time. So you see here, for the weapon, we went Venom. For the helmet, Barrage. For the chest, Flurry. For the gloves, Shredder. And for the boots, Acrobat. These are all uh, links. So you can basically... This will take you to Jabbit Hole, where I'll give you uh, another description about the particular item. But I've also included the description right here in the actual table. Next up, Primal Matrix Priorities. So obviously as you hit 50, you're gonna be focusing on Primal Matrix uh, tasks and the collection of essences. So this basically talks to you about like the two new abilities that you get, Electro Drill and Black Hole, and how um, Technician Tweak again is Astro Cure. I means this was completely lifted verbatim from his site. Um, Electro Drill is absolute trash. <laughs> so strong feelings about that one, um, definitely 
you know, keep that in mind as you're going through your primal matrix. Um, as well as some additional points of interest that you want to kind of move around. Right, your multi-hit chance, your severity, crit hit, vigor, tenacity, all of those. And then kind of a little bit more description here, right? Next up is going to be the DPS amp layout. So again, this is lifted directly from a technician tweak site. So this is the, the configuration of your amp layout, right? And you see here that we have, the, he's actually color coded these, right? So it gives you a little bit more, you know, meaning around when you may or may not want to actually put an amp point into this particular position and some of the conditions here, right? Next up is tips on the DPS rotation. And this is the pre broadside build because um, after, or once you have enough to actually get yourself into that broadside build, the rotation changes. So for starters, this is what you want to look at, right? You want to stay in the zone. And what they mean by in the zone is it's basically staying between 30 to 70 vol volatility, right? You use volatile injection. You'll double dash, right? To get an instant bio cache, bio, bio shell cast, pop the gadget, then innate, start spamming bolt caster and weave, bot DPS abilities and quick burst. So you kind of read through this a little bit here. I almost read the whole thing. Next up is the layouts, right? So this is your LAS layout, right? And this is for single target layout and this is for AOE target layout. Provided here is the tiers. So how many points you want to put into each one of the skills here. You see the only difference between these two here is the second skill here. This is bolt caster and the other one is electrocute. Okay, so you see the difference between the two. All right, and then next thing here is when you actually have 48 ability points to use, right? You see here again, it pretty much lines up exactly the same, except the difference again is in the bolt caster or electrocute. And lastly, this is the credits and reference. So again, Technician Tweaks. Um, a huge thank you to, to Technician Tweak. The, his document can be found here at this site. So, like I said, it is an amazing read with a lot of information. So if you're looking to run an engineer as a DPS for rating, this is the guide. His guide is the guide you want to follow in order to kind of get yourself into a better position. This video here is mainly just a very much high level cliff notes edition of that information. So a huge thank you again to Technician Tweak. I also lifted some stuff from Sushi Core's Wildstar forum post, and I provided the link here as well. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, again, this is really high level information. By all means, if you want additional information, please visit um, either the Wildstar forum post by Sushi Core or Technician Tweak's site for additional read through and a lot more specifics. So this is the format I think we're gonna follow going forward on the additional classes. I'm going to be focusing on engineer uh, tank spec. Again, using uh, Technician Tweak's site has a very good write up there as well on this particular um, spec. So we're gonna do the exact same thing we did here for the uh, DPS spec. So guys, really, I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Again, it is a, it is a very high level edition of it, but for the most part, at least it gets you started and at least it gets you kind of focused on what you need to be focused on. So guys, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or would like to see additional videos, please, please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be offering a lot more videos over the course of the coming weeks. Uh, we're going to try to finish out the series on stats and you for every class and every um, every function that that class can be, either DPS or tank heals. So, you know, we get the medic one done, both DPS and uh, heals. So definitely take a look at that if you're interested in playing a medic. So we'll be adding a bunch more different things. Even um, raid guides will be upcoming once we start getting into uh, to raiding. So we'll have those set up as well. So guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget, I also stream on Twitch at Mystic813. And I'll put that description also in the body of the video uh, description here. So guys, till then, thank you so very much for watching. And I hope you guys are having a great time in Wildstar. And I hope to, and I hope to see you in-game 
Until then, guys, have a fantastic time. Thanks for watching.